Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to round two of Mad Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an NFC matchup today in Gillette in Foxborough, Massachusetts. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game, and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Bucks, it's the Panthers, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Let's take a brief look at the bracket thus far as we start round two today. Bucks played in the last game of round one as Fozzie Whitaker is back ready to return the kick. And that was a crazy game. They beat the Falcons 18 to 15 in overtime. And that was just a crazy affair. Let's see if the Bucks have run out of juice or if this is destiny for them as they kick it away. Whitaker takes the knee and ball comes out to the 25. So out comes Cam Newton. He's only thrown zero interceptions, which is good, but he's he hasn't thrown a touchdown yet. And the Panthers are one for six so far in Madden Madness on third down. So if they want to win this game, they definitely need to do better than that. And this is a pretty good defense to beat a one and six third down conversion rate. As Tampa Bay is near the bottom of the league in terms of defense. As Newton comes out in the eye. And he hands the Stewart immediately. He's blown up for a loss on the play. So I start bad mouthing the defense, and look at that. They respond with a one yard tackle for loss. And that brings up a second and 11. And it was just they didn't pick up the blitz. They couldn't account for the extra man, and he was able to. Sneak in the backfield and tackle him down. So four wide for the Panthers as Cam Newton comes out in the shotgun. Stewart once again, and he's got a better gain. Gain of eight, and it's going to set up a third down. Here's the Panthers offense. Stewart got a touchdown in last round's matchup against the Saints. Let's see if he can repeat here on this drive. Third and seven for the Panthers. As they come out three wide, Newton's gonna throw his first of the game. Third and seven, Newton scrambles. Rolls up in the pocket and slides down across the first down marker. And it is going to be counted as a first. So they convert their one for one on third down in this one. And it seemed to be just man coverage or a deep zone, which opens up a run up the gut by the quarterback. And he's the main running back in this offense. They picked up Christian McCaffrey in the offseason, but yeah, he's across. But he's been more of a receiving uh, running back, and Newton's been making up the distance on the ground. Two running backs for Newton, three receivers. Let's see what they call here. They fake the handoff, and Newton rolls to his right, dumps it off to Greg Olson, who's got a decent gain of six yards or so, but there is a flag down. And it's Daryl Williams, number 60. Still first down. So they gain about 10 yards, and they go back 10. So first and 20 now. For the Panthers, they're right back where they started at the 25. And Newton's probably going to have to throw here again. Under center, though. Newton pitches it to Stewart Wright, who tries to 
spin around the defenders, but they ain't having none of that as they tackle him for another loss. Second and 21 now. And just under five minutes, five and, or four and a half minutes to play in the first as Panthers come out for the second and long, very long. Three receivers to the right, one to the left as Newton's in the shotgun. It's a draw play to Stewart up the gut who's got a decent gain. Twelve yards on the pickup and that's going to set up a third and semi-manageable, third and thirteen. Panthers are 2 for 7 so far in Mad Madness. Trying to make it 3 for 7. Excuse me, 3 for 8. Four receivers, Newton in the shotgun. Newton surveys. Steps, throws, hits Dixon. He's got the first. Newton's first throw of the game is complete for a 22-yard pickup. And the Panthers on third down have really turned it around so far. Two for two to open up. They've already got two more, uh, one more third down conversion than they did in that entire game against the Saints in round one. Under three left in the first. And... Let's see if Carolina can snag some momentum now that they got that third and long convert. Showing blitz are the Bucks. Newton to McCaffrey, who's got a decent gain. That's a gain of about six. Second and four upcoming. It should be a second sh short. It should be a short second and four. Two minutes left in the first as Newton comes in under center, running formation for the offense. And they give it to Stewart, who gets about a one-yard pickup, and that sets up another third down. Here's the Bucks defense, who had a decent game, although they did give up an overtime forcing drive by the Falcons in last week's game, or I guess it would be last, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, the game two weeks ago. So third and three for Carolina, their easiest of the game so far. Let's see if they can convert, trying to go three for three on third down. Newton fakes the handoff on the quarterback draw, and he's blown up for a sack. Tampa Bay, after giving up a third and long, stop him on a third and short. And the Panthers will punt. And he just came free. Once again, the Panthers were unable to get an extra man to block. Account for all the blitzers. Oh, they're going to try a field goal here from the 41. Let's see if he has the leg. Graham Gano. Kicks away, and it's about five yards short. So that results in a turnover on downs. And Tampa Bay's going to get good field position to start their game on offense. Pretty gutsy call, calling a field goal from the 41. But Ron Rivera had some confidence, and we'll see if that... Uh, if they try that kick again. So the Bucks have an early opportunity to seize momentum after starting as they get to start near midfield. The Bucks offense was enough to bring them home in their last game against the Falcons, putting up 18, but they were only 3 for 10 on third down. Under center is Winston in the eye. Winston to Martin, and Martin's got a hole. Martin! 
gets a 15 yard rush and sorry for the technical hiccup right there and after that run it you were, I was thinking for a second that I was going to go the distance because early on in their first game against the Falcons they were able to pop one big with Martin and that looked very similar to what happened on that last in that last game and that's the end of the first quarter Bucks have the ball driving 0-0 zero, zero, end of first And we're back. Dirk Coder looking on as his team gets ready. Already in field goal range, if not on the edge of it. And they got a fresh set of downs, first and ten. Winston under center. Panthers showing blitz. Winston. Blitz picked up. Throws. Hits Cameron Braid. He's got the first. Winston's first throw is good for 10. And now Tampa Bay is in pretty comfortable field, field goal range. And it was just a simple one-on-one -on -one coverage that Luke Keekley couldn't keep up with for some reason. I wouldn't expect for too many more throws like that to be available. And running formation for the offense. Winston under center. Winston fakes the handoff. He's going to throw deep down the field. Hits again. One more completion. Two for two. 23 yards. And it's cross. So Carolina can't score. And the Bucks are just moving the ball down the field. Taking advantage of that good field position. And that seemed to be a zone, so if the man doesn't work, go to the zone. But if the zone doesn't work, you better figure something else out. Might be a personnel issue, matchup issue. Under center is Winston, three receivers, bounce set. Winston rolls to his right. QB spy on him. He's going to cut up and take what he can get, and he knocks over the defender. Touchdown, Winston. And the Bucks are able to get on the board. Winston with the shoulder charge knocks him over. That'll be on the highlight reel. Quarterbacks can hit too, right? <laughs> Jeez. And just like in the last game, the Bucks have come out strong. Extra point now from Nick Folk, I believe. Fitzpatrick holds. And it's good. So 7-0, Tampa Bay leads. So Winston got it done with his legs through the air. Good running attack. They did it all on that last drive. And that's what kind of what you have to do to beat the Panthers' defense. And Tampa Bay is going to kick off now. Carolina in a 0-7 hole that they're going to try and get out of as he takes a knee. And the ball spotted at the 25. And as Carolina comes back onto the field, 
They got to be thinking about how to convert on third down. They were able to do it with a third and 13, but I think it was just a bad play call and bad execution on that third and three that resulted in a punt. Three receivers, bounce set for Newton, who's in the shotgun. Newton to Stewart up the gut. And that wasn't a great run, gain of only two, but I do like seeing Newton run up there and trying to block. It's going to take everyone. So look at that. Carolina comes out with only one pass out of their first ten plays. Let's see if this one breaks the trend. It does. Newton misses his receiver over the middle. He had him open. But it's incomplete. Third and eight upcoming. Their 11... This will be their 11th attempt of Mad Madness. They're 3 for 10 so far. And four receivers. Newton likely to throw here on third and long. Newton surveys, rolls to his right, throws under pressure and hits Olsen, who's tackled immediately, short of the goal line. And they don't get the first down, so they'll have to punt three and out. And Tampa Bay is going to keep the momentum rolling. Back to punt. Polarity kicks away. It's a good kick, too. Caught at the 13. They run it up maybe six or seven yards. Bring it up to the 19. So one yard better than a touchback. Out comes Winston, who was really firing on all cylinders in that last series. Just under four to play in the second. They're able to do it all. Let's see if they can do it all again. Winston to under center. Throws. It's Humphreys over the middle, and Humphreys has a big hole. It's a gain of about 22 on the play. And Tampa Bay's picking up right where it left off. Humphreys was just able to outrun the defenders. He was being pursued by two guys, and neither could keep up. It was just a simple drag right across the formation. Turned into a big gainer. So first and ten, just about three minutes left to play in the first half. Bunch set of receivers to Winston's left, who's under center. Winston's going to throw again. And he hits Humphreys once more. Four for four in this game is Winston. And they're into Carolina territory. And I'm just really impressed with Winston so far in Madden Madness. He stepped up, made the throws he needed to make, avoided the mistakes that he usually makes. Very impressed so far. And Tampa Bay might be able to score 10 or 14 points here before they have to give the ball back. Unanswered, I should say. Alclair in motion. Winston hands to Martin, who gets stopped. Loss of one on the play. I think that's their first negative play of the game. Close to a two minute warning. So we haven't seen them in a second and long. Let's see how they respond. They don't have to run a play here if they don't want to. And I don't think they will. No, they will not. So two minutes left. Tampa Bay leads. 
on the edge of field goal range with the ball. Up seven, zip. All right, we're back. 7-0. Bucks. And at Tampa Bay's perfect drive from here on out would be to run the clock all the way down, get a touchdown, and they get the ball to start the half, start the second half. So it could be 21 zip before Carolina gets the ball again. Three receivers for Winston, who's under center. He's going to throw immediately. Hits Jackson on the slant, and Jackson has a hole for a second. Long after he's got the first down. Brings up the ball to the 23-yard line, and the clock's running. And Carolina, who's supposed to have a pretty good defense, is just being turned into Swiss cheese. Everything... Just about everything that the Bucks have called has worked. Three receivers for Winston, who's in the shotgun. First and ten. Winston hits Evans. Mike Evans, his first catch of the game. And it's good for about seven, setting up a second and short. Second and three. And here the playbook's completely open. They could run, they could throw, they could screen. So if everything's already been working for Tampa Bay, everything's really going to work on this next play. Allegedly. But it's football, you never know. Two running backs surrounding Winston. Winston throws. Hits Rodgers, who's got the first. And Tampa Bay's going to take a timeout with under a minute to play in the first half. It's a first and ten, but it's basically a first and goal as they're up 7-0. All right, we're back. One. One, uh, under one minute to play as Tampa Bay has a 7-0 lead, trying to make it 14-0. And it would be very crucial for them to score a touchdown here. Going in 14-point lead at the half. And if they can score another touchdown. Carolina's in a huge hole. They're in big trouble. But it's up. It's up to Winston to get this touchdown. Who gets a pretty good first down play. And Tampa Bay takes another timeout to think about this next play. Second and four after the break. So Tampa Bay, with 52 seconds left, has a decision to make. They can take a shot at the end zone now, which might take Carolina off guard because Carolina's probably expecting Tampa Bay to run it to run the clock down, so Carolina can't respond. But once again, playbook's completely in Tampa's lap. Let's see what Winston does here in the driver's seat. This is basically goal to go as he comes out with a bunch set to his right while in the shotgun. Panthers showing blitz. And I think it's, he calls them offsides. And that's going to give them a free two yards, which definitely doesn't help matters if you're a Carolina fan. Second and two upcoming. Now second and two, if I'm Tampa Bay, I'm just going to run it here. Maybe you pick up the, the touchdown, maybe you don't. Maybe you somehow pick up the first down. If you can get the first down, you're pretty much set. But I'd go for the touchdown. I wouldn't even worry about trying to get a first.
three receivers. Showing goal line D are the Panthers. And Winston gets a delayed handoff to Martin, who's blown up in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. I'm not sure that I would call a delayed handoff when they're showing that kind of pressure. Third and five. And that's a hit. Luckily, there's no injuries. Otherwise, that would be definitely a concussion protocol issue. So third and five. Tampa Bay is going to have to throw here. Bunch set on their right. Winston. Time. Steps up. Humphreys. It's in his hands and hit out. Incomplete. Winston's first incompletion of the game. And it's going to be for it's going to force a field goal attempt. And less than 30 seconds left. You think Carolina is not going to try anything either. So definitely mixed feelings for Tampa Bay on that drive. Carolina should be feeling pretty good on defense, though. Kicks away. And it's good. Chip shot field goal makes it 10-zip. Tampa Bay. So we'll see if Carolina elects to do anything on this possession. Down 10 points. They have three timeouts if they want to try something, maybe a screen or a, just a run up the gut to see if they can get something crazy. Whitaker fakes the knee, and he's going to run it up. And bad decision as they'll lose a yard. Ball comes out to the 24. So if he would have just stayed in the end zone, they would have be at, they would be at the 25. But instead, he decides to run it out, and they're going to come out to the 24, which might impact this play call. It's not really a numbers game; it's a momentum game. And we'll see. They're going to try something here. Newton under center. Run to Stewart, who goes nowhere. And that should do it for the first half. There's no halftime show, so don't go anywhere as we head straight to the third. All right, straight to the third. Carolina is kicking off to Tampa Bay, who's enjoying a 10-point lead. Carolina has been shut out so far in this one, only getting maybe two first downs. see if Tampa Bay can keep the momentum going. Kicks away. And caught in the end zone by Jackson. Who runs it up. And he's got a decent return out to the 29-yard line. Where Tampa Bay will go to work. And we'll see what they could do here to keep the momentum going. A touchdown here might put him in coasting mode. We'll see what happens here. Especially with these shortened quarters. You're looking at, it's basically like being 14 minutes left in the fourth, so. You gotta keep your foot on the gas. But if you score here, you might wanna just try and play that clock game. We'll see what happens. Tampa Bay has more than doubled. Carolina's offense. Under center is Winston for this first play. Martin, who gets it out, maybe four yards. Second and six upcoming. Decent gainer on first down just to settle into the football game once again after that break that they had.
So, Winston under center. Three receivers. Winston to Martin, who drags defenders for maybe a first down. They're going to call it short by a couple inches. So, third and inches after the good effort. Under six to play in the third. And running formation for the offense. Winston under center once again. Winston to Martin, who's got a first and maybe four more yards as he piles it out to the 42. And that's what good blocking can do for you. You don't even have to throw it and risk an interception if you just pound it on the ground. So for their own 42, Winston comes out in the eye. The majority of his snaps have been under center today. wonder if they see something in this defense. Winston's going to throw here. Play action pass. His first of the half. Cross. Bobbles it. And it falls incomplete. So Winston was 100% for most of the first quarter, or the first half, but he's going to start out with 0% early in the second half. Winston in the shotgun for a change and he hands to Martin who maybe gets inches on the play. They're going to call it a gain of a yard and it's going to be a third and nine. Adam Humphreys in the slot. Winston steps up, throws on the run, and he's got Evans for a good gainer on third down. It's a third down conversion. Winston in the eye. Throws. Hits Martin on the dump off. He's got a three yard gain. And Winston's going to come out in the eye after the three-yard gain. Winston to Martin, and Martin's got a hole. Doug Martin. Ooh, he was one defender away from breaking that one. But as it happens, Tampa Bay is going to get the first down anyway. Cross in motion. Winston fakes the handoff. Rolls to his right. Scrambles. And there's a flag down on the tackle. He's about two yards short of the goal. Or of the first down. And we'll see what this is about. It's number 54, Shaq Thompson. And Tampa Bay's goal to go after that costly penalty. 
So Tampa Bay trying to make it 17 nothing. And I gotta be honest, so far, this is not the game I plan to see. Running formation for the offense. Flag. I think it's a false start. False start offense. And that that's a momentum killer. First and goal from the nine is a lot harder than first and goal from the four. First and goal from the nine, maybe you run it once, and unless it's a really good gainer, you're not gonna run it again. But if it's first and goal from the four and you don't get a gain on a first down run, you can chance a run on second down. So we'll see what they do here from the nine. Showing blitz are the Panthers. They're running Rodgers up the gut, who gets nothing. Driven down right at the line. Running formation again, Winston under center. He's going to throw this time. Rolling to his left. Cutting up field. Winston walks into the end zone. Touchdown. Bucks. Winston, two touchdowns on the ground. And Carolina's falling down 17 here in the second round. And with one minute left in the third, Carolina's got to put something together right quick. Here comes the extra point from Folk. And the kick is good. 17-0. Tampa Bay putting on a shutout. Dirk Coder's got to be pretty pleased with his guys. They've scored on every one of their possessions, while Carolina's been unable to match. And the boot's away. Caught at the goal line by Whitaker is pretty much forced to run it out. And he gets a good gain out to the 31. So let's see if Carolina's offense can figure something out as they come on for their first drive of the half. Panthers were two for three on third down so far in this one, which doesn't sound too bad. I'm not sure if those stats are 100% accurate. Four receivers for Newton. As he rolls to his right. And he's tackled for a massive sack. It's Spence. Loss of 10 on the play. They'll say it's a loss of 9. But the ball's going to be placed back at the 21. If the tackle could have held that block for just a second longer, Newton might have got a pretty good gain. But instead, it's a sack for a big loss. So, second and 19 now. Four receivers for Newton. And second and long has been a broken record of this game as Burson catches it. 
And I think that might do it for the third quarter. Third and 14 on the other side. As the clock winds down. So start of the fourth and Carolina needs to play a perfect game. Down 17 points. Alright, third and 14. Panthers' sixth attempt of the game. Two for six, or two for five thus far. Under Newton fires. Dump off to McCaffrey, who can't s slide past the defender. And Carolina goes three and out again. And I'm just so impressed with this Tampa Bay defense. And here we are, going for it on fourth down. Down 17. Newton surveys, throws, incomplete. Perfectly defensed pass, and that's a turnover on downs. Bucks are going to get the ball in field goal range, and they'll be able to tack on at least a field goal onto their 17-point lead. Quan Alexander with his hands makes the play. So the Panthers fall to two for six on third down. And out comes Winston, who's had a marvelous game. So the question was asked earlier at the beginning of the game if it seems that the Bucks are on a path of destiny or if they'd run out of um, gas in the tank after that emotional victory over the Falcons. But it seems like as Martin gets this throw or this run, that's good for three yards. It seems that Tampa Bay thinks that they're meant to be. Three receivers under centers Winston. Winston to Martin. And Martin's driven down for a one yard loss. Here comes a third down. Big hit by Davis. So if Carolina can hold them to a field goal here, they'll still be down three touchdowns. But it'll be better than being down three touchdowns and a field goal. Carolina trying to get the stop here. Winston throws on third down. He's got Braid over the middle. And that's going to be taken down to the three-yard line. So Tampa Bay's not going widely either. They've scored on every possession that they've had so far, and barring a turnover, it's going to be that immaculate number is going to be kept in check. Under center is Winston. Winston to Martin, and Martin shakes a tackle, but he's brought down at the line. He's bringing up a second and three. And Carolina, this is their last 
gasp. They're probably already done, but it'll be official, basically, if Tampa Bay gets the touchdown here. Goal line D from Carolina. Carolina to Martin, and they get to Martin for a gain of nothing. Third and goal. So they're 100% now on third down. Let's see if they can keep that metric as Winston's under center. Winston to Martin, and Martin shakes a tackle. Two tackles, and it's a touchdown. He rolls into the end zone, Doug Martin. That's amazing. That is amazing. They hit him in the backfield twice, and he just forced his way in. Look at this. Dodge, hit, push. He, he, had, he contacted three defenders individually before getting to the goal line. Wow, Tampa Bay leads 24 zip, and if the score stays where it is, it'll be the biggest blowout in Mad Madness so far, and the biggest shutout. 24-0, Tampa Bay. Wow. Six plays, 31 yards, three and a half minutes. amazing what Winston and what Derek Coder has been able to do I got to be honest I thought Tampa Bay was the worst team in this conference but after Madden Madness I'm not so sure As the kicks away. Caught by Burson, he's gonna run it out. They're gonna take it out to the 25, same as the touchback. And let's take a look at what Tampa Bay's done here. They're in a division with the Saints, the Panthers, and the Falcons. The Falcons were in the Super Bowl. Not last Super Bowl, but the one before that. Saints were one of the favorites to make the Super Bowl. Panthers have been in the Super Bowl. And the Bucks are going to take the division cha championship unless something crazy, and I mean crazy, happens. Newton in the, sh in the shotgun. Newton throws. Hits Burson, who gets only a couple yards. Gain of about four. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Carolina trying to avoid a shutout here. And we'll see if they can on the other side of this two-minute warning. 24 zip bucks. Newton rolls to his right, throws, and it's caught for a good gainer, their first good gainer since the first quarter. Minute 55 left on the clock, and they basically they need a perfect game from here on out, including a turnover, so... 
basically impossible. It would definitely be the greatest comeback in Madden slash NFL history. Oh, and they're going to review even this catch. I thought he caught it. One foot. Oh, no. He only had one foot down. That's going to be overturned. I would expect this to be a quick call. Pretty easy. And that's going to bring up third and six. Three receivers. Newton This is obviously four down territory. As Newton rolls to his right and throws across his body. Nearly picked. I don't know what he was thinking there. He should have just ran for the first down to get out of bounds. Instead, he forces a very strange throw. And fourth and six upcoming. Polarity barely gets the kickoff, nearly blocked. And Jackson catches it, spins across the defender, knocks one more over, and takes the ball out to the 20. It just seems like Tampa Bay just wants this more. And Tampa Bay should just be able to either milk out the clock or take away Carolina's timeouts with this drive and up 24 pitching a shutout I think it's fair to say it Tampa Bay is the divisional champ they run it with Martin gain of three and let's take a look at the standings here. Bottom right. Tampa Bay is going to advance to the third round. They're the first team to do so. And they'll meet either the Vikings or the Chicago Bears. So hats off to Tampa. They've been the biggest surprise so far in Madden Madness for sure. Martin gets no gain. And third and six now. Carolina's not even taking its timeouts. They just want the bleeding to stop. Tampa Bay should be able to run it one more time and then stand out in the putting formation on fourth. And that'll do it. That should do it. And that's it. Tampa Bay moves on. And just like that, Rivera's out. Panthers are out. Being shut out 24 to 0 in a stunning victory for the Bucks. Didn't see this one coming, did you guys? I didn't either. So let us know, was your prediction right? I bet most of yours was not. Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see the Bucks in their next game, see if they can keep this train of dominance going. Be sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying have a good one.